Gotta stay fueled up for the Nike Turbo Pegasus run. Hey oh, oh my my. Hey, 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 oh my my. Put it in my belly. The sausages, I kind of do a little too much. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you, hon. Come on, come on. Gotta fuel the run today. Gotta fuel the run. Stay tuned, YouTube. Good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon, YouTube. Oh man, oh man. Okay, this shoe, go check out a couple videos in the upper right hand corner if you have not seen any videos and vlogs about this Vaporfly 4% Flyknit. It's been a fun shoe to, to run in, but today, I gotta talk about this guy because at the Mall of America yesterday, I did this. That's right, I picked up a pair of the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 turbo shoes and basically last night I took them out for a three mile spin quick run just a quick run today I'm gonna go much further at least 12 miles possibly 16 I don't know and then I'll give you my initial impressions at the end of this video of just how, what I think of the shoe and like how it performed on a longer run so in addition come back tomorrow because I keep getting comments about these sunglasses. I want to give you my thoughts on these sunglasses, tell you what they are, why I wear this specific model and brand. I'd love to share. Come back tomorrow for that video and uh, let's lace up and get this baby done. Whew, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, YouTube. All right, about 10 miles so far at 7.30 pace, not too shabby, not too shabby. I am uh, training for a half marathon right now, so I did not carry my GoPro 7 on the first 10 miles. I'm going to go out for six more in the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 Turbos. And just so you know, they also have the Nike Zoom Pegasus Shield. So what does that, what is that shoe? Basically, the, it's the same shoe as this one that I'm wearing right now, but it, it's the shield version, meaning the upper, so the part that wraps around the top of your foot is more water re resistant, water repellent. So if you live in an area that gets a lot of rain, like the Northwest, or maybe you live in an area that gets a lot of snow and slush through the winter, you might wanna look into that shoe as opposed to this one for running, I'd say especially in the winter time. So many of you commented in yesterday's vlog about how this this shoe, like a lot of you guys own this shoe that I'm wearing right now and, the, and you love it. But I actually want to ask the question of the day, what shoe are you anticipating in the next month being released? Whether it's a Nike, whether it's an Asics, Saucony, New Balance, Hoka, you tell me down in the comments, like what shoe are you excited about? And let's just say the rest of 2018. Uh, do you have a, a shoe that's like on the radar that you're definitely going to buy once it's released? All right, I've got six more miles. Going to go inside, grab the GoPro, bring you along, and then I'll give you my thoughts, my initial impressions on this shoe here in a minute, here in a minute. And I will not, did I already mention this? I will not, to all the new subscribers, I promise I will not sugarcoat my gear reviews. I'll give you my gut, honest opinion. I'm not here to sell shoes for Nike, for New Balance, for Solomon, for anybody. Ultra, like I'm, I'm here to just give you my gut reaction. Just want to put that out there. All right, let's go get the GoPro. So if you want to see how I filmed this run, meaning the loops that I did, uh, make sure you uh, connect with me on Strava. I'd love to connect with you and just, you know, see how your training is going, what types of training you like to do, and which surface you like to focus on. Trail, trail, road, track. So anyway, let's connect on Strava. My profile is down below.
16 miles. I'll give you the, I'll give you the full breakdown in a minute. I gotta get some water. 16 miles though. Whew. It's hot. It's hot out. Oh man. Just chilling, guys. Just chilling on a Sunday after a 16 mile run. Whoa! Solid run. That I know. In the Nike. Zoom Pegasus 35 turbos, and I'm gonna give you my full thoughts here in a second, my initial impressions. Uh, but for all, thank you for subscribing. You guys are amazing, and it's blowing me away. So for all the new subscribers, like if you've been subscribed for a long time, you know my front yard and my the patio and where we live in Denver. But for all the new subscribers, you haven't seen this yet, and this channel is a you know we do a lot of running. I do a lot of running, but it's also a life channel communicating my story with you through the YouTube so here's my front yard and the patio and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon so we're just relaxing <sighs> trying to recover from the trip all right here we go and there's true love and little Michael He's <laughs> So, anyway, just want to communicate not only running with you, but life with you. You know, the story. And this is where we live, in our, in our humble abode. It, it's welcome to the good life. I got to clean them up for you guys for a little uh, cinematic turbo beauty, shall we? Shall we? I hope you enjoyed those shots. This shoe is a good looking shoe, I must say. Like they did nail the aesthetic uh, value of this shoe from the upper, even all the way down to the outsole. Like it's just a good looking shoe and I hope, hopefully you enjoyed those shots. Okay, basically folks, time for my first impressions of the Nike Pegasus 35 uh, turbos. I almost said zoom, turbos. And, but before I get to that, I have two caveats. I, what I'm about to share with you come, is coming to you through the lens, these two lenses. First, I have traditionally been an ultra runner over the last five years. What does that mean? Basically doing long distance training and races, meaning longer than marathon distance on dirt, on trails in the mountains. So long distance running at altitude, usually in the mountains. So that's kind of my context for my comments. And I am currently suffering. This is point number two. I'm currently suffering from plantar fasciitis in my left foot and it hurts. It hurts. And until I really take a break, which is coming soon after my race in about two weeks, uh, I, I'm going to take a break to let it heal. I have been running in the last five years in Hoka's and Solomon's. Not exclusively, but mostly these two brands, Hoka and Solomon. And frankly, I, I love them both. Um, I really love the Solomon's for just that aggressive uphill running, and I do enjoy the Hoka's for some more recovery days. They have a, you know, a little more cushion, a little more uh, absorption of the pounding, if I can put it that way. So. But moving forward, I am realizing, so I, I tried to run a 100 mile race about a month ago. Go check it out. It was interesting. I'll just put it that way. You gotta go watch it. And um, last week, I ran a 15 minute and 36 second 5K on a track solo. So what that tells me at sea level, but it was solo, not in a race, just a time trial. So what that tells me is that at the age of 33, I still have a little bit of speed left. And I'm wondering if I should rein in the 100 mile and 50 mile attempts moving forward, save that for my 40s, and focus a little bit more on, let's say, the half marathon, the marathon, and the 50Ks especially. Why did I buy this Nike Pegasus uh, 35? <laughs> the name is crazy. Nike Pegasus 35 Turbos. I am getting ramping I'm ramping up a little bit for 2019 being the year that I attempt a fast marathon all right I'm getting excited 
Uh, but it means I need to explore shoes that are different than these two. So you're, you're ready? You ready? My first impression of this shoe. I give it a six out of 10. Ugh, that's not a very good score. That's the oh, for the overall feel and ride of the shoe. I was hoping for more, but guess what? I, when I bought it yesterday, I had kind of in my mind that I'd be able to wear this on a regular basis, meaning for recovery days, easier days, just your everyday shoe. But I didn't realize how lightweight it is. I mean, I knew it was lightweight when I picked it up in the store, but I didn't realize how lightweight it is. This is a fast shoe. I ran 735s today, 730, 730 miles for 16 miles today, and it was good. I felt decent, but I wanted to go faster. And basically, I was holding back in this shoe, and this sh like this shoe could almost be used for a race. Or in hold on, instead of instead of the Vaporfly, like you could legitimately run a race in this shoe. You know, especially I would say like a ten miler, a half marathon, probably not the marathon or a ten k, but right in that sweet spot of like ten miler or half marathon. And so, folks, my initial impression is not so good. It, it, my plantar fasciitis was hurting a lot. And so I did have to say, okay, Seth, left foot hurts, right foot, yeah, it, okay, that feels good. Left foot hurts. And so every other step, I was like trying to feel, how does this shoe feel on my good foot? And the, the ride was just like, I wanted to be up on the toe box, up on my toes, on my forefoot the entire time. Bottom line, at 7.30 pace, I felt like I was holding back and it made the ride of the shoe feel weird. Have you guys experienced that in this shoe? Like, does it feel, it feels like a fast shoe to me. And so I think this shoe is going to be great for 10 mile tempo runs at sub 620 pace for me. And that might be sub 820 pace for you or sub 1020 pace for you. Like whatever your tempo pace is, this in my humble opinion, and listen, uh, this is just my first impression, but that's what this shoe is going to be for. Capiche? That's my first impression. Um, I'm excited. It's, I'm, I am excited. I think I'm going to love this shoe, and I think the 6 out of 10 will eventually rise up to 7.5 to 8 out of 10. Does that make sense? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts, especially if you own this shoe. I'd be, or even the Pegasus 35, not the Turbo. Do you own that shoe? If you do, let me know below. Let's get a conversation going so I can get to the bottom of this and hopefully we can help each other understand uh, this shoe moving forward so that, you know, I don't think I made a mistake buying this shoe. It's just not going to be my everyday kind of easy recovery day shoe. Instead, this is going to be the tempo shoe. <laughs> this is going to be the time trial slash racing shoe, you know, mountain shoe for the Solomon. Hoka will probably be, will be the easy day. Will be the easy day. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for a little review of these sunglasses and yes, many more running videos coming up real soon. And if you made it this far, thank you. Type turbo for this guy, turbo for this guy down in the comments. Let me know. And the reason I'm asking you to do that is that I want to, if you guys have questions or thoughts or ideas about running, I want to be here for you and hopefully you can reciprocate the information back to me if I have questions because I am not a Nike expert. I'm just transitioning back into the Nikes after taking a little break and I'm excited. So you guys can probably teach me a lot about these shoes as well. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here. Thanks.